good day everyone so today we'll be showing to you the different usage and the definition of a triangular bandage there are different types of bandages and the four main types of bandages are gauze compression triangular and tube first what is a triangular bandage a triangular bandage is a piece of clothes put into a right angle triangle and can be used in many parts of the body to support immobilize and can be utilized during emergencies among all the bandages it is practically the most readily available since you can convert any clothing material into into a triangular bandage in the event of an emergency it can be used completely unrolled as a sling, folded as an ordinary bandage, or for specific application as on the head. A triangular bandage can be utilized for the following purposes, like to hold the dressing in place, to prevent infection, for direct pressure, for arm sling, and to hold splints together. Now, I'll be showing to you the different forms of a triangular bandage. So, this is our triangular bandage. And the first fold is the cravat one fold. And this is how it looks. Then, the cravat two fold. This is how it looks. And lastly, the cravat uh, with three folds. This is it. Third is the parts of a triangular bandage. So this one that I'm holding and the other one there is the ends. And from here until there is the base. And this one is the apex or the point. And from here until here is the side. And the other one also from the end until here to the point is the side. And this is the open bandage, the area in here. Fourth is the dimensions and the standard size of a triangular bandage is 40 by 40 by 56 inches. So each side, side should have 40 inches and the base should have 56 inches. And before we start, you must know first that a triangular bandage must be tied in a square knot. It is to avoid too much compression on the injured part and it is easy to remove. Now, we'll be demonstrating to you the different usage of a triangular bandage from head to foot. First, in the head, this type of bandaging is specifically used for burns. It is to avoid dirt from coming into the burnt area, to avoid infections, and in order for the affected part not to be exposed in direct sunlight for swelling. The bandaging that was used was broad one-fold cravat, and after tying, the ends was tucked in neatly, and the apex was rolled in to avoid from being pulled or touched when moving. for forehead scrapes, injury, and to stop bleeding by applying pressure. Also, this is used in holding cold compression for headache like ice and medicinal leaves. And the bandaging that was used was close three folds cravat. The apex was hidden but it should be placed to the injured part to serve as the marker and the tie should not be in the affected area or in the injured part. <laughs> This type of bandaging using close three-fold cravat for head injury can be applied in jaw, cheek, top and back of the head and also in the forehead. Fourth, this close 
called cravats can be used either in eye injury or ear injury. Note that the ends must be always tucked in. Threefold cravat was used in the neck can be utilized to immobilize if the person has a cramps or experiencing a pain due to muscle contraction. In scrapes or insect bites, the ends are not tied, but if the neck is injured or the person is experiencing severe pain, splints must be added and bandage should be tied to hold the supporting splints together. Sixth, this bandaging uses open triangular bandage. This can be used for chest, shoulder, and back injury. Seven, for an injured arm like there is a dislocation of bones, splints are used and triangular bandage is utilized to hold the splints together in position to avoid the hands from moving. Using broad one fold cravat is specifically used for hand burns. It is to protect the hands from direct sunlight exposure to avoid swelling, also from getting dirt to avoid infections. Tenth, 
This threefold parapet bandaging can be used in shoulder, back, and chest injury as well. And if the patient is a little bit bigger, you can add additional bandage by placing the first bandage flatly, then fold the second bandage to a close threefold cravat and place it right in the apex of the open bandage, then roll it until it reaches half of the bandage. The open bandage will place on the shoulder and both ends will be tied under the armpit as shown in the video. This type of bandaging is used the same as in the hand if there is a dislocation or fractured bones to hold the splints together to avoid other injuries or further dislocation. <laughs> done in the same manner of putting in shoulder injury. This can also use two bandages to hold the legs, waist, thigh, and hips in position. Thirteen, this foot bandaging using open cravat is specifically used or utilized for burns. Fourteenth, this bandaging is used for ankle or foot sprains or cramps. And lastly, triangular bandage can be made as an arm sling. First, you need to make a stopper using the apex and with an open bandage, you can make an arm sling by putting the injured hand on the bandage with the stopper on the elbow and tying both of the bandage ends on the neck. And as an addition, don't forget that in utilizing triangular bandage, you have to make sure that you are using a clean clothes, proper tying, folding, neatly applying the bandage and proper amount of pressure used in the injured part. Overall, triangular bandage is very handy and can be utilized in any unprecedented situation. So we hope that we have learned something from our demonstration today and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.